Welcome to the show. I'm Darius, aka Typist Freeweather the Third. And it's your boy TK, aka Takala. And you are now watching Mind the Gap. Today we're gonna discuss America going broke, uh, people getting fired for not getting vaccinated, and we're gonna talk about them wrangling black people up at the border. For sure. Like, comment, subscribe. Check us out on all streaming platforms at the bottom. Cue the intro. So, uh, what you want to start? You want to start with, uh, I guess, in order. We broke. Yeah. We don't have any money. <laughs> I think, luckily, they just passed, like, a stopgap, like, for us the last, like, December the, yeah. the 13th or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the fact that we even came to this place is, like, super scary. Yeah. And I and I know, like, this this ain't this ain't the first time, like, this has happened. No, not even close. Like, man, it, and I don't know how many times we got to learn this lesson. It's the fall of Rome, man. I'm you say you. it, but I hope I really, I really hope not. But you know, what I mean, that's me hoping. But every yeah, <laughs> <laughs> every great power go through this, man. It's just like you, 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 you riding on this high, and then like you get used to being high, you get used to being the almighty. It's like we are like that football player that was great in high school, mm. and he can't let it go in his adulthood as yeah. he work as. You he keeps just bringing up old stuff. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? used to be this. Yeah, I used, I used to, to be, be that. that yeah. But right now, right now, we broke. We need spent you. all your money. We broke. That's <laughs> we need, crazy. Though, we need you man. to get back on the line. Like, to 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 think that America, like a country, is in a place that we're like we can't pay our bills, is just a wild concept. Yeah, like they can't employ they can't employ they can't uh, pay them em their employees, and if they can't pay their employees, then like who else not getting paid? How, like how does I don't I'm not sure how far reaching that goes. Like is is my job gonna be affected if? People mm -hmm. in the government can, can't do their job. Like, I mean, how far it, reaching is it? I think that's the I think that's the addition to the problem too. It's just like we let we let so many people make decisions decisions on things that we we should have intervened in. Mm -hmm. Like we we stuck in this two party system. Why? Because of tradition. Because of some type of mindset or, or something. We also don't have the the values of knowing what to do financially just overall with money mm -hmm. i think it was a study it was like 40 percent of americans overall doesn't have enough money for a 400 hundred dollar emergency do you understand like, like yeah, you know what i'm saying like yeah you know <laughs> <I'm gonna, laughs> <I can't, laughs> okay just drop 400 dollars right you know what i'm saying that's a scary yeah. thing it's, it's just 400 dollars. another yeah. statistic came out it was like people who people who are uh Financially below twenty percent of the uh, of the average, or at the twenty percent, or like you know below minimum, not below below uh, uh, middle class mm -hmm. that area, uh, you have a seven percent chance, seven point two chance of being uh, in the twenty percent. The mean? top 20 percent of people that own. Are uh, oh, you talking like money. trying to get there? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's but I think. <laughs> 20%, not the top, not the 1%, the 20%, mm. not one. And the 1%, I think that's what, you just got to be over 500,000 mm -hmm. to a certain degree, so yeah. what 20% is. You know what I mean? That's crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's just too. So there's only a 7% chance of making it to that. If you, you're, if you're if below the the, uh, the 20%, mm. the 20% that don't have money or the average. How do we get here though? I mean, I know how we got here, but the spending like, it—it's not just spending. It's just like how how long do we have to do the same thing before we figure something like something is structurally wrong with the way we run this country? Why like, we put capitalism above everything? But it's not capitalism doing its job though. In the in the in the sense that the rich are getting richer, people yeah. who want money getting money. That's but that's the issue though. I mean, capitalism is gonna do whatever capitalism wants, but it's unregulated. We all our money just goes to the top, but barely comes down. Like mm -hmm. I don't know how. Like if you look at this pandemic, like like I like I said before, we so hyper capitalistic. Like once we had to slow down, like we couldn't afford to. Yeah. And like the country started, you know, buckling. I enjoyed that moment. Per, per, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Personally, yeah. The pandemic was a great time for me because yeah. I was getting I was getting paid basically not to work. 
I mm-hmm. hate you know people say that. I wasn't getting the big checks because I got screwed mm-hmm. over by mm-hmm. my job or whatever. <laughs> so I was I was I, I was getting like basic you know the basic unemployment for a while plus living off my savings. But still, it gave me enough time to like reflect and like revamp things and like mm-hmm. figure out what I want to do. Like, yeah. which a lot of people don't get a chance to do in life. Like, once you hit a certain age, it's like you off to the races, and then you get stuck in that rat race. But that, that's a choice we all. That's that's another thing. If we make choices based upon ideas that that are not not true, mm-hmm. like we made, like it's a lot of people. Like I tell you about people at my job, bro. They just they think they need to. They think working hard gets you money. Yeah. They've been up 15, 20 years. Let me tell you something. Still the, broke. The American dream is toxic. Yeah. It's a very toxic thing. The only way you get to the American dream is by you sleeping. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you tripping. If you, whatever the idea that you think the American dream is, it's not yeah. that. It's not that you work for the system and then you get. Hard work just does not get you money. No, it doesn't. Not not within the system. Nah. Not not within the, the system nah. that it's giving you. Not with you working at a job that, you know, like, you know, a nine to five. It doesn't mm-hmm. give you that. Yeah. It doesn't even not, give you security. And it's not no the more. same America where, you know, we was getting paid uh fair wages or mm-hmm. like uh in relation to like the economy and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, our wages have been stagnated and you like back then you could work mm-hmm. thirty years and retire and then just draw social security. And if that's your idea of happiness, then you, you can do that. But now we can't we can't afford to do that. Even when we uh get older right now, we probably won't even have anything to rely on from like social security and stuff like that. Yeah. That was a great I think I sent you that thing about yeah. the social security stuff. But like but even with stuff like that, man, is it goes back to the idea of of for me it's always uh it's it's how it's the idea of how this society has convinced people to move. Mm-hmm. It's convinced people that, like I told you, like it convinced you to work hard. It's convinced you that you know you should break your back or you yeah. should you should work for forty years, fifty years, and you get sixty and they give you a watch. Nobody and then you get to retire. Nobody fights harder for rich people than poor people. That's a fact. And anytime That's somebody wants to buck against that system, other hardworking people attack the people that are trying to break out of the system and mm-hmm. figure out a way to do things and keep them down. And I think part of the reason is that. This idea of capitalism has to destroy like the sense of community that we had. Mm-hmm. So now it's more um, individual. Like I work or I do this, I do that. Mm-hmm. To the point where like if people are getting paid, you know, unemployment benefits because they lost their job, the people are upset. Yeah. You know, at those people, even though they should be like, "Yo, good for them." You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I, I that's why I said the American dream is toxic because you know capitalism got us all screwed up. It does, it does, but we are we are also a country. Go back to the mindset of the country. We also a country of being stimulated. Mm. We need something. We are consumers, mm. so we just consume. Like we are really like as an as America, we are really a virus to ourselves. Yeah, like we can't help but to consume things. And if you tell us not to, if you tell us to save, if you tell us to invest, if you tell us to, hey man, uh, you know, sacrifice, live below your means, do all this other stuff, they don't believe that's American. That's not American to do that. Mm. It's not American to to you think no I it, you think it I mean I, I mean in in practice I can understand that that's not American to like save your money but do you think people believe to not spend is is to, to, for me to tell you what to do to benefit you yeah or to tell you to, like think think about when I told you I used to work at uh that retail store and I would be on the candy aisle that's what that's that's why I worked there and people with their foot chopped off would still come over there and get that it's my right to do this. You feel what I'm saying? It's, they telling you that you can't tell me this because you that's the that's the first thing you hear when you when we talk about people going in Costco telling them, yeah, you got women. No, it's not my it's my right to do this. It's mm-hmm. my right not to do this. It's my right not to they believe I should be able to do what I want because I they, I believe we are so much in the mindset of consumer and we so we want the short term ben, the short term like benefit of doing something or gratification. That like on on Facebook or that, you know what I'm saying, that that piece of chocolate I know I can't eat even though I just got done. Working out, mm-hmm. or that 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 I get to buy this car. I'm gonna get this nice car that I can't afford, and show off in front of people that I don't like and don't like me. But it feels good just to flex in front of them. Mm-hmm. All that is a consumer mindset with short term gains. Yeah, and I think I think another part of it uh, to feed in what you're saying is that now attention is like a, a source of income. Like people, people, it's a source of currency now. Mm-hmm. Attention. And you can use that for, you know, effectively you can use that to grow your business and stuff like that. But a lot of people just do it 
for the like for the likes and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and just go out and do stuff. That's enough. But I think along with American Dream, that idea which we keep saying we're gonna talk about freedom is also this idea of freedom that just lack of uh, like we don't awareness know. that you're not like in a society that you can overstep other people's freedoms to uphold your own freedoms. It's also was got us into this place, and that's also all that keeps people distracted from real issues that that affect them and like. In the, in the craziest way that they don't need, like when we was talking about how much people's freedoms are being taken away mm-hmm. or stuff like that or how much, you know, this person has a tax cut. This this billionaire didn't pay taxes at all, yeah. but meanwhile, the RS calling you for $600. Right. Hunting you down for that $600. Down. Are we taking out your easy, We easy targets. We can't yeah. fight back like they can. We don't know yeah. the lawyers that know the loopholes. And why don't To we? get up all this stuff. Why don't Because we? we're not educated. It, bro, it's so deep, the intersectionality of all these problems that it would take to fix, like, What's really going on? Mm-hmm. America just need, and we need Americans to realize, like everyday Americans, like the best way for a society to thrive is to invest in the people, set people up to be prosperous. And and like when we have pandemics and we need to slow down, mm-hmm. we don't need government handouts. Yeah. But the problem is we needed them because ain't nobody had money. And then what it, it do stopped. to the dollar? Kill the dollar. Just devalue dollar like it wasn't that when it was or it, didn't, and it was already devalued. That, I mean, that's that's the for me that's the the like the it's it's the mindset overall. Yeah, it's like you know we don't need to text the rich. You know what I'm saying? We don't need to give out handout or, or handouts. It's like nah, let's let's separate that. And let's educate. Let's put this in school so we all can be better. At, right. You know when we why go wouldn't you want something. why wouldn't you want all your citizens to be educated in how to manage their money? Because if I'm a if I'm a if I'm already a business owner, if I own businesses like a Walmart or if I own, if, I'm only speaking if, and these are lions, I need these people not to be smart. I need these people to spend money. I don't need these people to save. I need right. the, I need currency moving. Right. I'm, not, I'm, a, I'm a lion. Why would I teach a gazelle how to get away from me? Right. And that's, and that's it. And <laughs> it, that's why I want, people need to realize that. Like, mm-hmm. there's reasons why we don't, we don't have money management classes in like high school mm-hmm. and things like that. And that's on the we're, surface level too. Yeah, we're taught to be production workers, make things. You know what I mean? And, and we don't control the means or the profits. We like back in the day, and this is why I was gonna do that video on communism because of the uh concept. Like back in the day, if you if you were a blacksmith, you owned the uh tools you used to make the swords, mm-hmm. then you make the swords and you sell the swords. Mm-hmm. So you own the means of production and you get the profits from that. Yeah. Now we work on factory lines. We don't owe the tools. Mm-hmm. We we don't uh we don't control the means of production because we may just work on one part of the car and just pass it down, mm-hmm. and then all the profit goes to the business. We're not involved in that at all. We just mm-hmm. get a wage instead of being in the, in that uh that section. Mm-hmm. So what I mean, if you look at this, and the same thing, go back to what you said. Not that I've not that I like. And riding for communism, just to throw it out there. I'm just saying that is that is the concept. The con- I don't want to buy. He's a Marxist, like this, but your boy out there talk about because I know how people get you commie. Get my car spray, face for, uh, spray paint and salt. Yeah, bro, you be that be in front though. But but just it's it's not just that. Like what to add on what you said. Let's, look how much America outsourced. Yeah. Look how much we we outsource, and look how much is it damages when stuff don't go our yeah. go our way. Just look at the chip shortage. And once again, whose fault is that? That's that's the people's fault, because who they blame? They fall for the okie doke. They be yeah. like, oh, who they taking your jobs. <laughs> like, like, you've been outsourced them yeah, jobs. Like you, yeah, who who hired well, them? I, your who, iPhone I got, what that was made at? Yeah. Now, granted, it, it, my iPhone would be much more expensive over here. Yeah. But still, it's it's still that keeping everything inside would, would help us keep money. But what would I look like if I can pay... In in their currency, I can give them minimum wage, which That's is like business. I can't which is seven dollars instead of paying somebody over there eighteen dollars an hour to do that. But I don't I don't understand why we apply these virtues to these business owners like they actually believe in them. But you know, like a more traditional conservative crowd, they ride for these people when they say uh, when they believe that you know, like Mexicans are taking their jobs. Who are hiring them? Like if they if they are who are hiring them? the business owner, but the business owner is convincing you. To take it out on these Mexicans, other than him, who's hiring them, and if he was so virtuous, he'd eat the cost and hire American people anyway mm-hmm. because he believe in helping American people. But well, that, that, that go to both points that we made. <laughs> That's what I'm <laughs> saying. Like I don't, points. I don't know how you don't recognize it. I don't know. 
uh, what was I about? Like, like I've been watching the Warriors, just like like you like you told me to. Mm-hmm. They hired Chinese labor. Mm-hmm. Who's the problem? The owners <laughs> or the Chinese people? Why the Chi- Why they riding to the Chinese? And that's why I like the Irishman. He like, hey, I'm going to the source, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Right. You know I mean? He blow up the factory. He like, mm-hmm. okay, you know what I'm saying? So why? Like, it's I don't. Really- I don't get it. It's really whoever they, whoever, the, whoever the politician or the, the the idol they follow points the finger at, mm-hmm. and that's and that and that. Be how the stupid cur- you got to be tonight? You but know? yeah, you you be we we have we not, not we have been amazed every week. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> every week, that's true. Bro. We that like last, yo. That last thread we we watched on Twitter was. I was like yo. I ain't know these people. Like just when you think you like you know there I've seen it all, man. It's a whole another breed of people out there. It's, just, it's a whole other. You be like I didn't even know. Yeah. I ain't know it got this deep. I ain't know that the the purple lights on the street was you know UV ah. lights that help you mark people that are vaccinated. And I, I didn't know that. And I was just looking at purple street lights the other day, and I was just looking at it. And I was like, my boy out here paranoid, but <laughs> scared to go down that street. And another thing though is, but you got to look at that. Also, it's not just on the on the ants or the workers, but it's also on like the 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 chiefs and shit. Like you know, like how much, why are we spending seven seven hundred and thirteen billion dollars on the armed military? Mm-hmm. Like, what war are we in? How much do we need for that? We don't, man. We you just, know what I'm saying? You know, I think, I think, what was it? Last term, president term? Yeah. They were trying to get this new plane, and like, bro, I was like, we don't need, we don't need these new planes. I don't even know why we have them. But then, once you do that, you got people. Who normally are right leaning, like, oh, they trying to gut the military. The military, come on, the military <laughs> is fine. You yeah, know what the I mean? Military is fine. By by a lot, by a wide margin. But you if you if you take out the budget for staples in the military, they say you're trying to gut the uh, trying to gut the military. You're trying to weaken us, make and us weak. The crazy thing about it is it, eventually gonna happen because like we like 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 a lot of stuff like you like when we was talking about like social security gonna get cut out. Eventually a lot of stuff gonna get cut out that we've been doing only yeah. because oh, we gotta save money, we gotta sky for it. Yeah. You know, it's like, a and then they're going to trick people that, no, you should be able to save. If you work hard enough, you can save enough to retire on. You won't need government aid. Yeah. People are like, yeah, I ain't no, I ain't no freeloader. I ain't such and such. Okay. Crazy. You, okay. You, you, we'll see when you get there. <laughs> okay. We see, we see you in that unemployment line. Yeah. And, and that's, a, and it, it is like, like we were talking, there's so many factors on why, like, cause for me and for you, it's no reason for, for somebody not, for somebody to be broke out here, mm-hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. Well, if you if you are able body, yeah, you know, but I don't, some well, people some people don't know how to get to those to those resources or yeah. know that those resources out. Because a lot of times when I'm at my job, I tell people about certain stuff. They're like, "Oh, that's what's that? You know, what is that going on?" So it's a lot of times like people don't even know. Like I told them, like my girl, she makes money off YouTube. Or I tell them, you know, you can make money by just y'all got all these cars. Just rent your cars out. Yeah, fifty dollars a day. A lot of people don't even know, man. Hey, Google is giving out free certificates on data analysts, which is where most of stuff is going, mm-hmm. or Google Ads, or any other certificate that's online that you can do by just sitting at home and then studying, or you know, taking six months and learning something and being at home and learning something mm-hmm. online. Yeah, you know, so or doing something online for somebody freelancing. You know, it's plenty of stuff that you can do. Uh, the the door that's I ain't saying broke, but you should be able to you know be able to survive and move through. Even if it's you skimming through, you should mm-hmm. be able to, you know, like DoorDash or just picking up groceries for somebody else or these hustle jobs, which I don't always agree with because they don't have any benefits. Yeah. That's the yeah. To me, like I I think that's true, but I think a a large large part of the problem is that a lot of people are having to rely on like the gig economy and stuff like that, and that can only get you so far. Like you can't. It's hard to come up when like your money you have to spend it. Mm-hmm. Like you can't really save like when you just make a, uh, enough to pay your bills and stuff like yeah. that. Now so, if you depended on it then by you know you know you that may not be the good idea but yeah. you should be like I say man it's, you can make money by just making talking about something you know like what we are doing. Mm-hmm. Like you can you can like you can do that you have a phone. If you if you do have a phone, you have a phone. You can do a lot with a phone. Mm-hmm. You can do a, you can get paid with a phone. Yeah. You can get you can do most things with that. But that comes down to wanting the hustle and then the ideal of the American no, I should be at a nine to five and it's nine to five should treat me like this. Yeah. And should be treated like this. I know people at my We job, gave up too much power, bro. We did. That's too a fact. Power. Not 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 appreciating unions. You know what I'm saying? You this little That's stuff. That's the like biggest that. thing. And then we think it's okay, man. Like Amazon was like, nah. Cause they, cause if you get a if you get a union Amazon, that whole thing gonna change. Bro. <laughs> you're not you're not getting next day packages anymore, bro. That's bro, out that, the window, over. bro. It's over. That's out the window, bro. And and then we done got so used to it, we done got so used to that we can't we can't wait five days no more. 
We got so used to doing stuff like that that if that was to go down, it'd be riots. People people wouldn't know what to do with themselves. I I'm, I'm guilty of that, bro. I've been I've been uh, I order some stuff like I was ordering stuff because you know I make wine or I was ordering some supplies, man. It was like it was Friday. It was like Monday, Friday. Come on now, <laughs> <laughs> come on, man. let my package get delayed, oh, bro. Let man. my package get delayed. I'm like, come on, son. I, I I don't know. I just see it now, so I try not to. I try, it's some stuff that that get me. Then I be, I have to realize, oh, this is the. I've just been stimulated for so long. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just used just to so used to it. I'm so used to stuff going like this, and that's what happens to our attention span. And that's I why I was back in the day. Like I remember ordering some headphones off eBay in college, yeah. and that was like a month to get there. And I was like, oh, that whole month, I was like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Now, bro, if it's more than like two days shipping, I'm like, yeah. is it even worth it? Do I yeah. even want these yeah. pants? Do I even want this? Yeah. <laughs> Come yeah. on, yeah. man. I've been, been guilty of that. Yeah. I was like, no, nah, I don't even want it. It's going to take that long. But now, you know, large part, if I, that shipping cost, bro, I'm like, you can keep that. Yeah, if it's a shit. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's, keep that, bro. It's all of that, bro. It's what Amazon did to the diaper company. Yeah. You know, it's just like taking out the mom and pop stores, the little stores that do stuff. Amazon like that. is like low key. Am- so Have Amazon. you watched uh, The Boys? Yeah, of course. They Amazon's like low key like vault, <laughs> like vault. They got their hands in everything, bro, and they just slowly taking over, man. Mm-hmm. And then they trying to, you know, I said that post is you, you just since you they was like trying to make like a uh, a work town where everything's sitting yeah, around the town. That. That's dangerous thinking, man. That's dangerous thinking because you already know they they got the. They trying the to push out the stores now where they don't even have people ringing it. people up. Mm-hmm. You just you just, you just put your, your stuff in the cart and, and then you just out. roll it out. Only thing they probably need people stocking. I don't know how long that's gonna last till they get robots that can put you know soups and cans on the they shelves. They got that one robot up. I don't know well, if you've seen that. There you go. It's I like mean, roll around. It don't. It don't really do anything. But it just rolls yeah, around. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Bob. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. But it's 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 out here. And then and then what? And they got robots in the uh, in the plant. You know they you got know? you got, you see uh, Domino's. They got the little. Mm-hmm. He's delivery by now. That's they even, cool. don't even need delivery boys anymore. But that but that even with that art like. People have to evolve, like mm-hmm. you know. What I'm saying you, we, we are coal is over with. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you know we mean? off that. You're yeah, off we that. off that. Me, like that's, you know what, what, that's what that's one thing I thought was remarkable. I mean, but uh, and again, jump back to Barack. He was like, "You trying to get these people out of, out of these minds, and you know, we are willing to educate you to learn how to, you that know, work is. these mills and stuff like these windmills. You get out of coal mines, you get paid more money, and you learn a new skill. They like they willing to pay you. They's like, nah." This is what we do. We gonna die here. Like, all right, enjoy that black lung, my guy. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why people fight so hard to like not be better. That's the problem, bro. Cause it's changed, bro. Nobody want. Air. It's okay to be a caterpillar. Mm. That's what people want. I'm okay with just crawling around. I don't want to fly. Yeah. I don't want to see the world. You know what I'm saying? But are people afraid that um to become butterflies, or are they afraid to become moths? Either way. Yeah, you you, you out of here. I'm not crawling. I'm less of a target of, of moving around yeah. than down here. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what I, I'm becoming something better. Yeah. You know what I mean? People get stuck in their ways, I guess. And people get so deep in their they, they can't they, see. Uh, they can't they can't even see them. They can't see. They don't have perspective. Yeah. I mean, that's true. I mean, some people, because of the way society is, some people uh worlds only are uh, six blocks. You got the school right mm-hmm. there, you got the job right there, your your house right here. And I die for store. this block. Yeah, you die for this block. That's all you know is right here. I die for this block. And, but it it never the, the sure idea is. never gets implanted into you that you can even You can go just, I can go to Paris. Yeah. I it never even occurs to you. Mm. I well, you s- can go across the. Uh, I'm about to say that. You can go across town if you want to. Be like, nah. <laughs> I can just go six states over yeah. and my perspective will be changed. All right. Like go go to go to Norway, like we was talking before we start recording. Go mm-hmm. to Norway, see how they operate. You be like, yo, the air feel different over there. <laughs> <laughs> like something something different about this place. Yo, even though you can't understand language, you are like, yo, these people happy. Like, why yeah, are they happy? I'm we happy, ain't happy too, out there. Yeah, what is this? I don't ever want to go back to USA. I told you, bro. That, that is we are weird, bro. I don't, but we don't know how weird we are, bro. Yeah, that's a that's a that's we a don't know how weird we, we don't are. interact with other people outside of ourselves. Like I be talking, like I be why you know Alvin preached. Yeah. They videos with them. They be like, Americans are weird. Y'all don't y'all don't even y'all don't even stand stand like what like some of the stuff y'all do, how weird it is. And they be pointing stuff out. I'll be like, you know what? I ain't I, I ain't even thinking about it. Just the way we hug and greet each other. Mm-hmm. They be pointing stuff out. They like we 
So y'all weird, bro. Y'all not affectionate. Y'all individuals. Y'all don't get it. No, you don't get it, bro. You don't. You don't think of your fellow man. Yeah. Even with the, the with all this like love thy neighbor, all this, all these Christians. Because a lot of times it's, I see a lot of these Christians. It's, mm. it's them that that do the stuff that I would think that you would be so strongly against. Love mm. thy neighbor. I don't care what you got going on. That, that's between you and God. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't judge. But if you need my help, here's, ask my neighbor. Or, here's why I think that. Or the idolaters, like how much they idolize like public figures. Yeah. Like you know, like these political figures. And I just be like, yo, who who they think share they same values? Who who they yeah? Even like when that. we talk about when we talk about abortion thing, yeah. but they pregnant, they 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 little girl get pregnant or they mistress gets pregnant, they right there at the next state over getting a, getting the procedure done. Even with the death penalty, yeah, even stuff like that. I don't I don't even that even, I don't I don't I don't follow. I I understand I understand what they think. I understand that. Mm-hmm. I understand what, what, why they like that. I don't get the logic, you know. That's 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 literally that's the gap I can't mind. You know what I mean? I think that revolves around people being so, people being stuck where they are because what they've done all this time has gotten them there. Mm-hmm. So recognize, like, once you believe something so wrong, believe something wrong for so long that. If you have to reckon with that, it, it'll shake your world. And also, people don't like the other people to succeed um, without following the way they would do it, mm-hmm. because it's like that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? So I like, like you, you be like, you should like, like I well, sometimes my family get offended when I'm like, well, all due respect, like <laughs> you've never been where I'm trying to go, so mm-hmm. why would I listen to you about this, mm-hmm. this, and that? You know yeah. what I'm saying? And people get offended by it, but it's they, true. I mean, yeah, like. You you not you you couldn't you couldn't even begin you can't even you couldn't even uh, fathom what I was trying to do like mm-hmm. so how why would I listen about you know getting this that and when you tie that in religion it's like we live oh, this way then you should get this so when you see somebody who's living outside of what you believe and they succeeded either they got to be down with the devil or you know or it's got to be some other shit, you know what I'm saying it's yeah. got, you got to be on some other stuff there's no way you can be you can live and I'm here. Mm-hmm. In like these meager means, and you mm-hmm. over here enjoying your life, and so there's no way. There's no way you did it. You did. Yeah. You did everything right, and God. Yeah, there's no way. That's that's like that's lack of perspective. That's insecurity. And America's a bit insecure. Like we are definitely insecure. Yeah. We don't want to look at ourselves. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All mirrors are broken. That's, we yeah. ain't looking at nothing. Like you said America is a what? Oh, it's a. Uh, uh, I what a third world country? What is it? It's a, it's a third world country with like a Gucci belt, a supreme, yeah. like a supreme shirt, is a supreme hat, is a really nothing. Like, just all a, we blow, yeah. we just all talk. You you pulling up in that Ferrari at your at your trailer that you you, you share with your mom. Yeah, y'all don't live together, y'all share. It. And that's yeah. funny because a lot of people do that, bro. You see them in these <laughs> nice charges, and they go home and they live, they share a room with their cousin. Or something. Yeah, so I now, get what it, your man. priorities. I get it. I get that mindset. I get the tribal mindset. Yeah, I get. I get it. But it's just. It's just like. Is how do you not? What is? Is it? Is this? Is what you think is that it means to work? This is working. This is success. This is the peak of what it's supposed to be. The way that we are doing it is the best way. Like, do do y'all think this? Like that's that's the problem I have. Is like, do you think this is the best way for us to do this? Yeah. Do you think it's working? That's that. that I take that. I take the last comment. Yeah. Do you think it's working? Do you think we are but climbing the as hill? Long, as long as they working, they don't. They don't know <laughs> the <laughs> overall <laughs> structure is working. It's like, yo, bro, ain't no way you think this shit working. Ain't no way. But they, you don't realize how broken it is until you one of those people that realize, yo, I lost my job because my job couldn't afford to pay me because we slowed down. And then you realize, yo, some something, something's not right about the system. I, then, I doubt it. Let me point the finger at them, the Mexicans over here real quick. Let me get them off me. Some Mexicans fought while I lost my job. They ain't hired not one of them for your job. Not one of them for yeah. your job. And here you are saying that. Here you are saying is 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 Trump's fault, Nancy Pelosi, anybody, any one of them. This is their fault. Mm-hmm. It, instead of saying, hey, maybe I didn't prepare myself well yeah. to deal with this situation. Maybe me going out to eat. Uh, and not saving the money I, and, and going grocery shopping and, and cooking. Mm-hmm. Maybe maybe it was me, you know, playing videos all all day and not developing a skill for myself. Maybe it was me not going after the things I really want to do. 
Maybe it was me buying this new car with these rims, or this, yeah. or just buying and buying a car. Maybe it was just me not saving when I know I should. Maybe it's not me living below my means. It's not. It's not none of those decisions. Yeah, it can't be. It can't be. It can't be. I'm me. doing everything right. Yeah, I'm going to work. I'm paying my bill. Why is me? And that's what they, and that's what the American dream sold you. Yeah. So it's hard to get you that out you that mindset. That you got a nice car, you got that house, that you good. But it's crazy that, that not that when you bring up religion, I believe that's a religion within itself. The American dream. It's not, become that. It's, you see how people defend it, and, it, and let anybody try to criticize America in any way, people will attack them with all their heart and soul and call them un-American. It's like, no, I'm more American than you because I want I want us to be as great as we think we are. You know what I think is funny. And then we go. This is a little bit off subject, but you know what I'm saying. I'm just going. We, we talk. It's like you know how like back like just saying how American dream is like a religion. People think knowing a second language is un-American. Like when they hear somebody speaking Spanish, yeah, Chinese, whatever. We Heat it. Heat it. Conversation, nothing to do with you <laughs> over there. It'd be like, you know, you in America, you gotta speak English. Why? Cause you uncomfortable and not know what they saying. Like, <laughs> it's like yo, shut up. What kind of what kind of bizarre like and they be getting hyped like yeah we I want to put my hands on you yeah, right and all right. you can do is just mind your business yeah you mind your business <laughs> you talking yeah I ain't getting mad at you the yeah. crazy thing about that person will turn around in English and and respond to you let me tell you how bad it gets they it's so bad that some people do it in other countries yeah now, I seen that I seen now that. that I'm here I seen that. we speak English yeah, I see that. everybody around me. He'd be like, can you speak English? I'm trying to find my way. Do you know English? Do you oh, know English? Oh, uh, other Americans do yeah. that. Yo, yeah, that's wild. That's like, wild too. Can you speak English? And they get upset. Why does nobody in El Salvador <laughs> speak speak English? <laughs> Shout out to El Salvador. Yeah. I got a uh, coming in. somebody somebody was uh helping me speak Spanish. Or oh, yeah. Yeah. Shout out to them. What's that tandem? I ain't been on it in a while. I ain't been on it in a while neither because yeah. I had uh I had, I had to start falling. I got off and on. I didn't quite. I didn't quite because there's no structure. And it's just kind of like cool. we teaching each other, but we a lot of people don't know how to teach somebody something else. So okay. it's kind of we kind of get we have to guess what we need to know. So we got to start basing like, well, how you do this? How you do that? So it's kind of unstructured for me, but it was fine for me because all mm-hmm. I did was like uh, like the people I would I would they would like give me hint. They give me like uh, things that would help. Mm-hmm. So they were like, you know, learn a song, listen to a song in Spanish, yeah, or watch uh, something in Spanish with Spanish subtitles on, or like I would just, I was already doing, uh, what was that a song? So I would just speak Spanish. Mm-hmm. I would speak Spanish, and if I messed up, they'll laugh, tell me what I did wrong. Yeah, It'd be the same thing. They'll speak English, or they say something English, you know, mm-hmm. whether it be t- through text or through uh, hearing their voice, and then we'll just correct each other. Right. So that's how I did it. Mm-hmm. It was pretty. One cool. thing that messed me up, which I like, because it informed me of differences. Was like if I was talking to somebody who was uh, oh. from like Costa Rica or like yeah. Brazil or like uh, El Salvador or somebody, he'd be like, "Nah, that's wrong." Like, but nah, my man over here. Oh, my man over here. Yeah, just, I had that same problem. They'd be like, yeah. "But no, though." It was like, yeah. but "Keep that over there. Over here, we <laughs> yeah. do this." So I'd be like, "All right, you know, okay." I'm messing up. I mean, so I, I guess I know how to code switch, but come on. Mm-hmm. And then Dominicans like. Uh, they got they got a language within their own language, just like a whole slang stuff. So yeah, I'm, I'm good. That's like it's some like, yeah, stuff. Yeah. yeah, it's, it's like you speaking talk. English, but you're not you're not speaking <laughs> English. It's like ebonics for white yeah, people. You yeah, know what I yeah. mean? It's like what do you say? You know what I mean? Oh, uh, who are yeah? Oh man, we're going to the next topic, man. Okay, that's good. Uh, so, um, how you feel about people getting fired for not getting vaccinated? Hey man, that's their job, man. Let's go back to what we were just talking about, yeah. man. It's, hey, this is the job, bro. Yo, that's your job. You should be prepared to not have to deal with that. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, how long was that like rollout of like if you don't get it by this date, then you get fired. I'm not privy on how long they gave them. Uh, a lot of people had like, uh, because I think it's just federal now. Like people with federal jobs. They I got, think some people. Uh, I think in New York they gave like some nurses and stuff. Oh, well, yeah, hospitals and stuff yeah. like that. Well, they, they receive federal funding. I guess oh, any okay, place well, yeah, okay, yeah, they yeah. receive yeah, their fair money, be like, nah, you got to get it by. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, for me, it it makes sense, and I get why. I heard a, a pretty good argument from a nurse on why she didn't get it. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, okay, that's that's sustainable. I yeah. can, I can I, And she was good while she was, she was good on her feet. And, you know, all her points was, was valid. 
And I understood why she do it. She said, man, you know, I've been here 12, I mean, 11, 12 years. You know, I understand. So I, I just want to do it. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't agree with them, but I, I, it was, it was sound. It was a sound argument. Yeah. It wasn't irate. It wasn't no conspiracy theory. Yeah. It wasn't, you know, these are, these are the studies show and these are the risks. These are the, this is what I believe. And I don't think it's okay for this to happen. It was like, okay, well, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? Do your I thing. I mean, you taking that risk, but yeah, you, I yeah, get it. Yeah. And I, I get the um I get the government mandate on it. Um and you know, it's it's an illusion of choice, but you know, it's still mm -hmm. a choice there. Um I'm I'm still kind of iffy on it because I get it, I get the federal part of it, and if business is starting to do it and that's mm -hmm. their business, they should be able to decide like what they want in their business. Mm -hmm. And but I'm also like like I was saying before, like it's not the people that you are like her. Who who are not against the vaccine, mm -hmm. you know, even if it's just for a simple fact that I'm just not comfortable putting it in the body. Because some people just are all natural and they know, they want to go their own route or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's like as long as you're not one of the people that's out there actively like dismissing any measures that uh uh you know prevent us from like getting over this pandemic. Mm -hmm. You know, you know I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? If you don't if you don't want to take the vaccine. You know, don't take the vaccine. So I'm I'm still kind of iffy on that point. As long as you're not actively like out here on she, the on the ish. And that's and that's what was beautiful about her because it was just a, a a good conversation. And she said, I like I'm not anti you know vaccine. I'm not you know for vaccine. I'm not saying yeah. none of that. I'm just saying for me, you know, blood clots. I'm saying you know the rollout. Right. And is there, about, is there is there an exception for choice. those people? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it yeah. was she was she went through the process. I was like, hey man, I, hey, by all means, baby, don't take it. Yeah. So <laughs> so for those people who have legitimate reasons or concerns, like I don't think they should get fired. Like for people that you know have like medical excuses, like if I take this, it could jack me up or whatever. Mm -hmm. They should get an excuse to uh, to keep their job or whatever. And wow. also for people who. Um, you know, they just like I just want to wait and see what happens. I think they should be able to keep their job too. I but I get it. I understand I what they're so. doing. It. I disagree with that. Why? Oh. I mean, at the job, if I say, "Hey, man, these are the requirements at this job. Yeah. I gotta wear steel toe boots. I, I want to wear. I, wanna I, wear I get all that, but we we talking about mm -hmm. we talking about another level now. We talking about sticking something in your body. I know, but even even to that silly degree, if that's the more serious degree, and this is the silly the silly degree. Then I think if if it's on this level that you should be fired, I think on that level you should be fired. Mm, I, don't, I don't know about that. I do. I, I mean, think it's degrees to it. I think not, and and it's not. That I don't think like getting the vaccine is unreasonable. You can, but if it was, it was if it was something unreasonable, I would say no, don't do it. Like if they say you gotta cut your uh, like Assassin's Creed, you gotta cut your uh, fourth finger off or something like that. You don't have to be here. That's <laughs> I, I understand that's my, that's it, but own. that's that's also like a ridiculous. That's always um, like request. I mean, but yeah. I think that's I think that's always like when you say the illusion. I think all of it's a choice. Back to what we were just talking about in America, there's plenty of other jobs that you don't have to. You don't need that. Mm -hmm. There's no requirement for you to take the vaccine. That's that's plenty of other jobs to where you can do for now. For now, until for there home. is, and then it's like that's plenty. Of some it's plenty of at home jobs you can do. Mm -hmm. and you there's there's I mean, if I'm a nurse, I would hate that. Especially if, like, if I'm there 11 years, that would hurt. Mm -hmm. Like I think she's 11, 12, that would hurt. I'm like, man, I really, this is this is what I, I love helping people. Yeah. I love doing these things. I do think it's, it's not totally fair, but it, a lot of things are not fair. It's just like, I understand, I understand what you mean. Like, you know, not, I don't want to take it because, you know, I'm all natural or, you know, or whatever, whatever the case is. But I can tell my job, hey, man, for religious reasons, I don't want to come in on Saturday. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, you get enough points, you're going to be fired. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and your religion going to be yeah. outside. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I think that's ridiculous. I mm -hmm. think that's also ridiculous. But it's, in my mind, it's that job's choice. It's that job's I I own this place. And that's where the conflict is with me. Like, mm -hmm. and unless we, because cause I don't want to sound like an anti vax but at some point we got to, we do have to like monitor. Like, at what point do businesses overextend their ability to for the course us to do things, and what, and also like, like where where does our line end? Where we can't just expect a, a business to bend to whatever we want as a society. I mean, but I think that's the point. You show up from work, I pay you, and it, whenever the group as as a whole come up with something, and they, you know, well, we can't do meat because in a capitalist society, if the money stops, mm -hmm. then we got to make some changes. 
if the money not stopping, why would I? I'm gonna do what I want. I'm not gonna pay taxes. Mm. Now what? You know, I, I'm two points. I'm gonna jump to something that's kind of off subject. Um, but it was more like in regards to uh, taxes, like when Obama, like part of his old like health plan, mm-hmm. where like you had to sign, you had to get health insurance, or like they'll give you they tax you or whatever. Yeah, that was I ain't like that either. I ain't like you that know either. what I'm saying? Like I, I don't know how that shit got passed. We got I, I understand like the logic behind it. like you want everybody to be, you know, taken care For of sure, and yeah. yeah. But like a lot of people don't even subscribe to that type of medicine. Mm-hmm. And to even want to go in a doctor, they'd rather die mm-hmm. at home or whatever, trying to get that treated. But it's not a lot of people. Even when he yeah. said, when he brought it, he said, I gave three million, I think he said three million black people at healthcare that didn't have it. Yeah. He was able to use it. That was wonderful. I like that. That's what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. you like, what? So like, it's going to hurt. Mm-hmm. If I drink sodas all the time, I quit drinking sodas, I'm going to get a headache. There's a process where, there's, there's a process where I'm not going to like it. Mm-hmm. That's the process. I'm going to be penalized for helping other people. I think I'm okay with it as long as, like, if, if, if Private businesses like clinics and stuff like they don't implement um, vaccine and people can like transfer. If you like a nurse, like well, I guess I'm just going to this private, you know, mm-hmm. nursing things. I'd be cool as if it's just like federal. Um, so I'd be cool with it that way. And I think a lot of private businesses, that's they selling point is we not we not into that. Like you don't have to wear a mask or mm-hmm. get vaccination. So. To me, that's a semblance of, you know, a compromise. Like, okay, you ain't got to work here, but you can go. If you want to continue being a doctor, you can go to this private practice and go over there and see if you can get a job or something like that. Okay. I mean, that's cool. That that'll be a, that, that seems like a, a compromise to me that I'm okay with. I, I'm, I'm, I understand. Mm-hmm. But if it's my business and I, I need to keep from being sued, you yeah. take the vaccine, you can go. You out here. Yeah. You out of the door. And just like the other the other place where my man, he was like, he had the restaurant and he wouldn't let, if you was vaccinated, he wouldn't let you in. Or or the couple that ended up getting kicked out, I think it was a Texas restaurant, yeah. they got kicked Cause out. Because they wanted to wear they, a mask. Because they wear a mask. Yeah. Now, I would have had trouble with the mask situation. Just because I just didn't like the premise, and that's that's me just being that's a that's just my ego. What do you mean? Because like you make me out, I got a mask on. Yeah, I was like, man, I'm like, like I, I can was, understand the opposite. Like if you were a person that was really concerned, I didn't want to wear a mask. Mm-hmm. But like just me wearing the mask is like if I'm I'm saying if I was the the couple. Yeah. If I have a mask on and you ask me to leave because I have a mask on, I'm gonna have a problem. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I can, like I can stand, I can understand the opposite. Like, yeah. if I if I was a person that didn't wear one a mask, and your business was like you have to wear a mask to get in here, I can understand like the the business saying you're not allowed to get in here. But mm-hmm. me just wearing a mask to get in your business shouldn't be like a problem. No, it shouldn't be. Yeah, it shouldn't be. And ego wise, I would have I would have a problem in the midst of that. Mm-hmm. But but. Like how how I believe it's your restaurant. Yeah, I could just leave. You, you yeah, yeah, I could just get up and leave. I said to you, we sit. Yeah, that's what you said. You was like, like, like I was like, come on, I'm like, bro, I would have, you know, what yeah, saying? I would have started like, knocking over stuff. Yeah, like, you know, what I'm saying, what, what bump it then? Yeah. You know, what I'm saying, y'all just start knocking. But I was like, but after I thought I got on the car road. I was like, man, I could have just left, man. Yeah. That, they chicken ain't that good anyway. Yeah. Was, you know, what I'm saying it was, a, you know, but they but, was going on about, you know, what I'm saying it's really hard to get babysitters and stuff. Like, I understand, but I'm sure there's yeah, other yeah, restaurants. Yeah, that's not that's not the restaurant's problem. So I believe in that too. That's like yeah. if, if it's yours, bro, and you have these rules, bro, those are your rules. Yeah. Those are your rules. If you want you if you wear a mask or you vaccinated, you can't come here. Okay, cool. Say no more. Yeah. I I, I won't come. I'm not gonna protest in front of your stuff because it's yours, bro. I don't care. That you you do what you want. Mm-hmm. And that's and that's how I would move with the same. That's how I say, like, I'm not saying they should be fired, but it, if that's the if that's the code, then yeah, that you went against the code, you should be fired. Yeah. I get it. I get. I get your idea of like stuff uh, overreaching, but I think, especially with me and you, I think we done got to the point where we see a future of us just having stuff on our own where we ain't got to depend on nobody. Mm-hmm. That we can just we can we can like literally print money for ourselves, yeah, and not ask nobody for anything. So like when you going to you got my own restaurant, you feel what I'm saying? Benny Hanna's in the backyard. Yeah, yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like I want to own a couple of restaurants, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or own a business stuff like that. I so might like, change my you know the dress code on the day I go there. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so if and that's how I look at it. It's mm-hmm. just like if I had something and I required something myself, I don't want to have no. I don't want to keep having go back and forth with nobody. It's like yeah. you can be here or not. I feel. And especially if it's millions, if you come over here and like say a nurse. 
who may or may not have it or get sick or get somebody else sick or something like that and that person decide to sue whatever the case somebody to look into like i get you know being unvaccinated uh you know raises your chances you know dying or you know having Mm -hmm. like still got it in your mouth yeah Mm -hmm. like when you know you get like when you get the vaccine you still can you still a carrier yeah you bump into it so it's like is the vaccine for other people like in terms of like you can't work here if you're not vaccinated is it for is it to help yourself or is it for other people because if you like if i die i die then why can't i because if we if we gonna carry it regardless i think i think that's something we have to really look into Mm -hmm. because i need to know how how, what what is the likelihood of you being a carrier Mm -hmm. you know how how much do you carry they say you still have some in your nose yeah. and, uh, and and mouth and throat. And maybe because you're not vaccinated, it um, spreads and you know strengthens. Yeah, body. you know, it, it makes multiplies. Yeah, yeah, so multiplies. it could it could be that. Okay. You know what I'm saying uh, that's something we have to look into. But that's a, yeah. that's a good question because yeah. it's like, why am I getting vaccinated if I am I, if I can still get other people sick? Yeah, that's a good question. So, so I got you. Got something to say? Oh, no, I'm good. All right, so I can, so your boy. Uh, oh man. So they wrangling people up. At the Texas border, more importantly, black people are our fellow Haitians down there, like yeah. going back to slavery days. They literally wrangling us up like cattle. Was like, they wrangling them up, or was they just hitting them with the with the thing? Bro, I from, saw from my I man seen, going like this. Okay, from what, so I don't normally when people start, you know, wrangling ropes. I thought he was winding up, like getting up momentum. So when he hit him, it hurt hurt for us. But what I seen was mm. him hitting him with the horse. Yeah. And him beating them with the uh, either with either way, either if you're not ringing them up, yeah, you're still corralling people into like a, a direction. You still treating them like cattle. But he said, I heard one of them say, he said, "This is how you treat your women. That's why your country." I was like, "Yo," I was like, "Yo," I was like, "Yo, bro, that's like I'm a I'm I'm a prideful person." Yeah, I don't know. I probably would have died of that. We had to take him to the ground, bro. <laughs> I would have grabbed that rope. Hey, we are gonna get down here and have a conversation. Uh, it'll probably, it'll probably be. Yeah, I probably died. That way. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand what happened. Doing. A, I, like how people get dressed up in them cowboy outfits, going on them horses. Like this is okay. We we are we are doing the right thing. This doesn't look bad at all. I remember my man Che from uh, SNL. He was like <laughs> when they burned the uh, the sign on the church, uh, the Black Lives Matter sign on the church uh, uh, lawn and stuff. Yeah. He was like, hey. Maybe we the bad guys here. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> like, maybe we the bad maybe guys. Maybe we're here, not like, in the right. You know what I'm saying? Know? But that goes that goes that goes back to America and the way they view black people. Or the way they, they the way they make people blue uh mean view uh immigrants and stuff yeah. like that. That 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 type of mindset that they give in I'm on top of the horse above you with weapons, what I have with yeah. other people that makes me feel empowered. Yeah. And as a And you coming into my country. Yeah. My country. My right. country. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You 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 here coming into my country, yeah. I have the right to kick you out. And if I'm not saying they're going back, wasn't they? I'm not sure. Because like, I know they because I, I think now they haven't because they migrated from Haiti to like parts in Mexico and now I think they're getting like harassed or something in Mexico. So they was trying to Going to the United States, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, I know they was going to the United States, but when they was out there pushing them the other way, they was already going that way. Yeah, who knows? Man. That's who what knows? I was saying. It's like if I was, I don't on, know beforehand if they was like uh, forced them back that way. They weren't moving fast enough. Yeah. I don't know how. To, I don't know. At like, what what, how fast you want me moving water with my back with my with my kid on my back? How fast you want me to do with all this? All my belongings coming over the water. Mm-hmm. That goes to that goes back to that the American mindset that just to think that we are entitled. Mm-hmm. We are like the 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 privileged white boy in in class that keeps failing, but the teacher knows his parents and keep passing them. Yeah, it's just like, bro, like what are we doing? Like, what makes you think that you on top of a horse should be hitting another human like that? No kind oh, of decency. Oh, he's not. He, there's there's no defense. Who's yeah. defending that? And that man would have snatched you down and, and killed you down there. They hit the, all, all the Haitians are bad. Oh but, yeah, now now they trouble. They down there killing yeah, border watches. We and need stuff. more people down there. That's disgusting, yeah. man. That that's like. It's and then you know, and then the crazy thing. You know what they did? The crazy thing was. They said, I forgot which politician said it, but he they was like, right now they do no longer have the horses as if. The that horses, makes it like was, the horses were the bad guys. Like the horses was the racist. <laughs> or like the horses was the one with the wheel. 
<laughs> so we don't get rid of the horses. Yeah. The horse, so not a horse yeah. out of job. That's what you're saying. The horse is unemployed. Not a horse mad at Haitians because yeah. they, they lost their <laughs> they, job. They, they taking their jobs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like no, me. Yeah. It's not the horses. Yeah, man. it's the it's people, horses, bro. It's man. the people. Speaking oh. of politicians, Governor Abbott oh. <laughs> missing these easy layups out right here, bro. All he had to do was shut up and mind his business. But now nah, he hiring those people who get uh, fired down at the border for doing that dumb stuff. You know, you know that move with Rami uh, and why you speaking of uh, like an easy layup. You remember that episode on Fresh Prince when uh, Will was playing on the basketball team? Are you talking about car calling uh, uh, ripped the ball from him? <laughs> and then shot that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what he just did, yeah. bro. He, just, <laughs> he yeah. jumped, but he yeah. jumped off the bench. He was like, bro, what nobody even bothering you? But bro. you got to think about what kind of move he's trying to make. Like, who is he trying to impress by doing that? Because it's a political it, move, bro. We both know that. Well, well, I, I can't even say it's a political move because he may believe that. And I also thought he wasn't running again. But apparently, what what he been doing lately, he might be running again. But I think or, or, or maybe or Rourke Rourke is trying to give him a run for his money. I he thought he was gonna run again, but he may be trying to um, do stuff to become president. I don't, I don't know his moves. He's he doing, he, you know, he snuck that uh, abortion and, bill in. He doing this stuff right now. But he, he, he probably trying to go out with a bang. I don't yeah, know, he, I don't he know he what trying, he trying to do. He's trying to let off real quick. Yeah, but him between him and DeSantis, but I'd be like, well, y'all, y'all going <laughs> and Ted Cruz. That that uh, unholy Ted, trinity, bro. Ted Cruz is just like Ted Cruz a do boy. I don't I don't know how, I don't know how you ride Trump's nuts like that after he insulted your wife. He's like a foolish hamster. You know what I'm saying? Like he just he's just a, a foolish, foolish a hamster. foolish hamster because yeah. he look like one, bro. He's just like man, just you know, just run on you because he he just he just he just in a cage of his own making. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? I mean. <laughs> He get he he do get himself into some stuff that just I like bro, yeah, just, be just be quiet, just be quiet. You know I ain't heard for a while. Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, quiet. I'm not even nah, sure. Nah, nah. He, he said he said something the other day. What? Something stupid? No, no, no. Mitt Romney, he was he was he actually said. Oh, that's man. what I'm saying. Mitt Romney ain't been a problem since like he ran. Oh, you talking about him being foolish? Yeah. No, no, no. He he actually said something. he been saying stuff like positive stuff lately. Yeah. You know, you remember they was like you know calling him out on the airplane when he was. When after uh, uh yeah, he was denounced January Trump. 6th. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I ain't with it. I ain't after January 6th, he got yeah. back on a flight and it was on his it was on his ass. I respect on, on the plane. Yeah, you know, he came a long way from that muskets line when he was debating Barack. He came a long yeah. way from <laughs> he's like line. even he was like, you know what, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, bro, he came a long way from that uh notebook full of women, bro. That, that, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey. I never say this, but I never thought I'd say it, but you know, more Republicans should be like Mitt Romney. Yeah. And even Bush. I seen Bush get his at right. Mitt Bush been painting mine his whole business. That's all he wanted to do. It's, Cause you know he was a puppet. He wasn't he wasn't that guy, yeah. even when he was president. He just you know what I mean. Like, well, why am I here? He took the murder charges and was like, I just want to paint, man. I don't I don't wanna <laughs> I don't wanna be responsible for anybody's lives anymore. <laughs> Oh, but not a little happy. He was like, "Bro, I did not." See. Man I was, was like, stuck. President, he was like, President uh, Dick Cheney had to step in. Let yeah, but yeah, yeah. President Dick Cheney had to step <laughs> yeah. in. Bro, like, but he was like, "Bro, I just, I just wanted four years of chilling, bro. Yeah, I just wanted a paycheck." Out he's like, "Y'all ain't say it was gonna be like this. Yeah. We y'all, <laughs> y'all got me in here." He was just making decisions, bro. Getting, Ooh, shoes, getting shoes thrown at yeah. him. Trying to. Bro, he them. like, you know what's funny? He got both those shoes off. He threw the first one, and then he got time to throw the second one off. I was like, yo, they not trying to protect this man. (laughs) Oh, man. Bush ain't that bad no more. But still, It's because he ain't got that power, man. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they. It do something to you. They did the same thing they did with Trump, man. Trump didn't want that job. He was a puppet. But he he damn sure hit the gas when he got it. Hey. He damn sure hit the gas. He he, he talked, bro. He talked that that people like this. He, he, he a celebrity, bro. Celebrity and chief. He's a celebrity, bro. He's he's an he's an entertaining entity. If regardless of your uh, your level of intelligence, mm-hmm. regardless of your level of intelligence, you unless you just like on a high, he's like I, this is foolishness. I don't think this is. Yeah, tra- I'm not even like, gonna let this in my brain. Like so, like anything, anything from the office of what you think is funny to to friends. To like you know real high uh, uh, yeah. lives of, of of real what housewives of whatever any of them shows from there to there uh, of your of your entertainment level nah, I would put you, you think he entertaining 
I put um, Frazier at the top. That was one of them. You have to know big words to get some of them jokes. <laughs> I'll be watching Fraser. He say something about anti disestablishment terrorism. I'll be like, okay. <laughs> Audience be dying. Ah, like, okay, uh, sure. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You get it. It's all yours. If you watch any of those shows and you think those are entertaining, he, he's an entertaining yeah. person, bro. Like, because he, you be like, bro, I know he didn't just say that. Like, every time he went up there and said something, I was just like, bud. And they cheering and they eating that stuff up. I'm like, that's not nothing to chill. That is scary. I remember when Dave Spell did that, he did the stand up and he was talking about, you know, He's like, man, he was he was saying, like, y'all don't want to know what they're telling me. He was like, you shouldn't tell us that. <laughs> <laughs> like, bro, you shouldn't even come out. You could have just said yeah. nothing. Yeah. The problem I have with Republicans, bro, it, it don't have nothing to do with you. Leave it alone, mm-hmm. bro. They stepping everything. I'm like, bro, what you doing? Like, Going bro, out of their even... way to share their opinion. Like, bro, ain't nobody even thinking about you. I can't you. stand that, mate. Like, listen, my, my, my boy, I'm bringing up Lil Nas X. Okay. Like sometimes it's weird to me when people create like issues where I at least I don't see the issue. Like he posted yeah. like uh you know, he got this song called Industry Baby his album Industry Baby or something like that. So mm-hmm. he was like going through that theme. So he posted himself like like pregnant. he looked pregnant and he was mm-hmm. at a baby shower and stuff Pretty like funny. that. Yeah, and then he had he actually gave like raised money to like give somebody. Oh yeah, I remember you, I remember you posted that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but like one of my homeboys posted something like, you know what I'm saying, this is offensive to people who can't have babies. I'm like, where did that even come from? <laughs> where Yo. did that even come from? Like, and he yeah. he just wrote, he just went off. This is mocking, you know, the beauty of pregnancy and like people. Is that is that, can, that dude that every now and then I jump on your comments and say something? Nah, okay. it was it was it was from left field. I didn't even expect it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, where's this even come from? We got we got to get on the subject about how easily people are offended. But to to your point and to that point, all you gotta do is not look at it. <laughs> it's just hard to do, bro. Hey, I'm sorry, bro. I, I, my new thing is, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Just just unfriend me. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> You'll never have to see this again on my yeah. page. I just unfriend me. And and by the way, I'm about to post it again. Hmm. I'm about to share it. Again. I'm gonna do it again. Just I'm about to find something else. Yeah, I'm about to find a video. I'm about to hold, post a whole stream of this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. That's about, my new thing. Just I'm about to show you what he just did on Instagram. Posting yeah. stuff. It's like, bro, no, bro, don't tell me what to do on my page. It's offensive to all you know, five thousand between between one to five thousand people that is looking at my yeah. <laughs> looking at my Facebook page. <laughs> you don't have to be one of them. You don't have to be one of them, bro. I'm, I could be one less friend today, and I'm okay with that. We don't go out to eat anyway. What up? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna like, eat regardless. Yeah, I'm eating regardless. I'm eating regardless. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bro, who are you? Who are you to be offended? You yeah. can't have a kid, so you should yeah. shut up. Nobody, nobody on this page that can't have a kid yeah, say anything. I ain't see not one person, <laughs> one woman say I, he's mocking me because I can't have. Yeah. a Yeah. Because even, even, even if like. I tell you something else. Nobody can make a good album like that neither. How about that? Okay. <laughs> How about that? Is it offensive to those no, who make bad albums? And, it's like, and then it's like, okay, what if another woman does that? She's not. I see women do, you know, fake baby bumps and stuff like that. Are they mocking pregnant? Have you wrote a dissertation on that? Are they mocking uh, pregnant women? I don't know, man. People, or are you just mad because this, this this man is pretending he pregnant? It's a new thing, man. That 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 over the internet atomism or whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm over there stumbling. Over there. <laughs> He's internet activists, man. Yeah, they, man. They just creating problems with our problems, and then they, I'm mad at the people that liked it. They liked it. They it's agree. Great. I'm just like, yo, what? What are y'all agreeing with? Do y'all know what y'all agreeing with? How are you an activist? How are you an activist on? Let's go back to what I was saying about likes. That you just you just an activist for likes, bro. You just you just want likes, bro. Stuff, bro. Should have thought that out more. You could have just took the share and put it on yours. But you, if you want to comment on mine, don't mind. We can fight about it. I got time. If I, ain't I did that in a while. I ain't, I ain't went back and forth with somebody. I got better about it. I don't do it. I don't. I, I see. Don't I see. I see have it. it in me anymore. Just I be to, seeing it though. I be like, "Boy, I should get you, boy." But I be like, "Nah." I be sure. like, sometimes I be, I be watching, I be reading something. I be like, "Boy, ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, <laughs> <laughs> boy." Ain't no way, boy. <laughs> Boy, I've had conversations with these, but boy, ain't no way, ain't boy. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way, boy. Bro. You just be like, bro, I know you. I know this ain't. Yeah, this ain't. You got to be doing this for life, <laughs> yeah. bro. I know you, bro. I done heard what you this said, bro. Yeah. I done heard what you said about women. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I know you like, bro, I know you, I know you ain't out here to feel like that. It's yeah. crazy. It's crazy how, like, sometimes I see stuff like that. 
and the ones that be disrespecting women the most be jumping out. Like if, if they see somebody gay or somebody do something crazy, they'll automatically jump to disrespect for women and stuff like that. Like, bro, you be the main one out here. <laughs> In private. Yeah. Talking, that. <laughs> talking that good. <laughs> this bitch that I got, you know what I'm saying? I did this. Like, hey, you ain't been faithful since 90, <laughs> since 97. What are you talking about, man? You the reason why they toxic, bro. Yeah, bro. You the reason why they say they blamed you, cuz. I don't know, man. I, I think far as far as the the immigration thing, I always thought it was wrong. But even going back to the bill, where they again, like when during war, they allow immigrants to come in to fill the spaces of uh, people who who and I, and that's that's a crazy thing. Anyway, like the fact that we having a uh, the unemployment is uh, is where it said you would think they'd be okay with immigrants like they have been in the past when we had like major events happen. We need people to work. Mm-hmm. But like just like in the past, I think if I'm not mistaken, they had a bill that was called like the Wetback Bill, where they sent like uh, Hispanics and Mexicans back to Mexico, and uh, and sometimes those people weren't even from the places they dropped them off at. A lot of people they just sent like, them back. Well, just, uh, dropped them off in the desert, and some a lot of people died in the desert just trying to get back, and it was just like, and that, and it, like just like I say, like you know how I like history. So me looking at history and then I see stuff now, but like, oh, okay, y'all still- We don't learn, man. You ain't we learn that. Learn, <laughs> we, we use people and throw them away. Like, like this country was built off, you know, foreigners, you know? You're foreigners, period. From black to Chinese, bro. It was built off, but once you don't need, it, need us anymore, mm-hmm. then we the problem. From Irish, you know what I'm saying? Like all these people that we, that we, that came over here looking for a job and then made jobs and made things for themselves. And now we too high and mighty for it. Come on, man. That that's ridiculous. There's so many problems, but we got so it's so it's so much work to do. It's exhausting even thinking about it. But we don't get into all of it though. Yeah, that's what the show for, man. We don't get into all of this, man. I was gonna get into your thoughts about immigration, but I don't, I don't have a medical capacity right now. No, nah, that's that's the whole yeah. Thing. Hear me? That's the whole thing. Just to touch on it. No, yeah. I ain't gonna. Do it. Go ahead, just no, touch I ain't gonna. Just say what you need. Nah, I man. It's just that. Do we have like a limit for immigrants? Because we we are a, a place that immigrants always run to when something go down. Do we have a limit on how many kids the brothers should have? Should we? I'm I mean, China didn't have a problem doing. <laughs> He's like, you get China ain't got a problem locking up Muslims. Hey, hey. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. To, to their credit, again, I'm not a communist. <laughs> I'm not a communist, and neither are they. We're gonna talk about that later. Okay, but the uh, closest thing to it though. They are. They are. Today, credit, they are strict about, look, we are for this. We are not for this. We're not having this. Okay. We want to keep things Chinese. We want to keep things pure. And we want to we want to uh, control everything to make sure that this nation is the greatest. Today, credit, they they are good about that. I will say it about China. Okay. But that's about as all I get with China. <laughs> is that when they, if they say, yo, we already got enough people. I don't care what you think. I don't. I don't care if you want a big family. I don't care if you have. You think you got a right to have a big family. You get two chances. <laughs> so you better get whatever you can get when you get it. Yo, and we only. I think they that. got rid of that though. I think they got. I rid think of that. they did. I think they got. I rid think, of that. think that used to be a thing when you couldn't have like more than one girl or some stuff. Yeah, like bro. That. I, I was talking. To, uh, I don't know if it was a thing where you couldn't have or they didn't want. Yeah, I think it was a uh, where they had used to. I don't, I ain't gonna say it because you know, but if I remember correctly, they used to take them places, drop them off. Yeah, like, you know, like crazy, bro. But I'm not saying I, but I ain't gonna put that methods, on them. But you know, yeah. until I until I, until I go back to it. it, I'm not gonna say I agree with their methods, but they at least you know, you know they mean what they say. Yeah, they mean what they say. And, and if you look at you know what I'm saying, they could have been lying about the number, but the way they had handled uh, COVID, it was it was it was the most. It was efficient. I say that much. <laughs> I just say it was efficient. Cause they play, bro. Oh, you think you going out? You, you think know? you outside? They put them speakers outside, yeah. bro. I dare y'all to come outside, <laughs> bro. I was like, bro, please don't come outside. End up in that jail cells with the Muslims, bro. That's some cold. No, what they they want jail cells? What they call them? Uh, re-education centers. Oh yeah, Just re-education to put centers. The spin on it. Yeah. Oh, uh, but yeah, but back to immigrants. But like, I don't know. I don't know if if you're not gonna put. Restrictions on on having kids. I know it's, I know that's that's a major difference, but it's just you know that just that just people. But still, and I understand that, but I, I do think the that's a tough question. But I do think the immigration policies on how to get over here should be better. Yeah, 
I don't think it should take six to six months to a year to fill out a form on if you can come over here or not. Mm -hmm. I think if we are the country of Christians and law and let's saving our neighbors and saving our brothers to, you know, if that's the base that we're supposed to be, then that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. Those people are probably running from some things that, that they can't help. You know, Which they usually are, seeking whether, asylum. Whether, whether it's the cartel or earthquakes or you know, disasters that's happened over there in their country, if they seeking asylum over here, then what's the problem? Yeah. And I, and the thing that gives me, the thing that makes me say is a lot of the time they, they are running from problems that we help cause. <laughs> we'll, we'll destabilize a country in a oh, hot second and then when they come seek help, we like, I don't know why you over here. Why you over here? <laughs> I don't know what you come over here for. Bro. So I don't know, man. With, with that, I don't, I'm not opposed to it. You know, it's not a. I think it's it's a I tricky it's situation. A, it's enough room over here. Mm -hmm. Plenty of room over here. It's it's enough room, but do we have enough resources? Of course. I don't think we do. They are. We already got a struggle on our supply chains now. For, From COVID, yes. But if you even before then, we was trying. It's the long, like the long uh, look ahead is like we need another way to produce food. Oh, you talk about you talk about people in general. Yeah. Oh yeah. Then yeah, I'm not talking. I'm talking about just doing. Immigrants because we got to, enough to room. US, we yeah. got deserts and yeah. you know plenty of mountain I, heard, uh, I, heard, I don't know how true it is, but I was reading something. It was like you can really take all the population of the world and put them in like like uh, Australia, not Australia, uh, is it Alaska? It was something like that, and give them like one acre, and people would be fine. Maybe Alaska, like, like you know the map, like yeah, a lot bigger than we think it is. I, I forgot. I forgot. I gotta look that up, but it, I, I believe it was Alaska. And you can put them all in, like, you put everybody in that space and it'll just ride. But now we don't need that. Anymore. But if you go back, but if we went back to, like, not overeating, if we went back to, you know, growing our own stuff, or mm -hmm. if we went back to, you know, if everybody had their own, you know, little. It's a lot of ifs, though. I'm, I'm just saying. <laughs> just, I, ideally. Yeah, ideally. This, <laughs> if we wanted to make this work. If we wanted to make this yeah, work. Yeah. If we wanted to breathe better, yeah. we wouldn't be tearing down the rain for us. Like, you know, but yeah. that's that's neither. That can't help that. Yeah, you know, I, it's I'm, done. It's already I, done. I can only do so much yeah. in that situation. But if you, if I think we do have enough resources, like, but I don't, for me, I don't mind just eating plants. That's not going to bother me. I don't need cows and chicken stuff. Yeah. I, hey, I'm sure. It comes down to if I got to make a choice for everybody to survive and, and stuff like that, y'all, I'll eat. I eat vegetables. Yeah, that's cool. I eat vegetables. Y'all not gonna survive because y'all, y'all. Oh my, I gotta eat lettuce. I'm fine. Hey, I will get full off this. Yeah, this salad over here or whatever I'm eating. I this will bowl, learn. This this Buddha bowl. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got no problem, bro. You know, but we we don't have resources because we keep destroying them. Mm -hmm. I bet mean, that's what it come down to. We don't respect the, the And it's the not coming back. That's the that's it. The, the resources <laughs> we destroy is are not coming back, bro. Ooh, you bro. seen them world maps? We brown. We, we brown. We can make here. it back. We can make it back. I seen what China doing. China did some good stuff. Having everybody plant a tree. And they, they did good with that. Okay. They better get rid of that smog. They on are. top of it. They are. They got they I told you they're getting rid of all they get all uh, uh, gas, gas cars. Gas cars about That's why I'm saying. They say okay, we getting rid of we getting rid of electric car. I mean, we getting rid of gas cars. Have a gas car if you want to. You see what happens. They about their business. Like, all right, we got too much smog, mm -hmm. too much population. Y'all don't have a choice. Y'all going to electric car. And they made a deal with like thirty other Asian countries to get mm -hmm. rid of all emissions uh, in like 2050. So yeah, I mean they'll get rid of it. We ain't see, got no deals see, like that. See, it's that communist stuff. Say what you want. Bro, you sound. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm playing. But also, I'm not playing. I mean, but that's, it but that's but that's the thing though. Like these political theories, they all have strengths and weaknesses. A strength of communism is that when the when the government controls a lot, then if they if they want to move a certain way, then they move in a certain way. Yeah, but, but that's also with the with the leadership that you have. Can you imagine us being communists with the leaders we got? Boy. That's also with um But you also also with that, I believe China, China, us, and some somebody else make up the most depression or make up the the top depression countries in the world. Mm -hmm. We're the top three. I think Brazil Bangladesh is there. Bangladesh. Yeah, we like top five. We number three in the world. 
of with depression, but China's I believe not. What do you China's mean depression? Like, like people suffer from depression. People oh, saying, like people I ain't suffer. know you meant like great depression or no, like, no, no, no. Like people mental, mental depression. Uh, okay. Well, India, India was number two. India is number two. Why is mm-hmm. India number two? I mean, I guess it's because of the population. And you gotta think, India got a group of people called the Untouchables. That's, that's so right. that's yeah. just that's like so that's. That's I, over. That's I understand it. Yeah, I, I don't know who that. handled them surveys, but <laughs> but you know. What I'm saying? But you know what's interesting? Even with places like India, who have a group of untouched, they turn out right for their election stuff like eighty percent. Everybody over there is like more knowledgeable about what's going on in their society. Even they, even in that condition, they know they, a lot about, about what's going on over here too. So it's, it's a lot. A lot of a lot of countries outside of U.S. know. More about what's going on in the U.S. than people that live there, which that's is sad. Fact. Which is also part of the problem. Leaning back to the discussion, to the earlier, you know what I mean? But you know, it is what it We're is. We're just man. ignorant out here. Ignorant, but to end, to end, I believe every person that was out there doing that to them Haitians should be fired. We do more than fired, or that, or, or they should get you know seventy lashes. Of the same whip that they got, they ain't was out there whooping people up, yeah. whooping, people, whooping people up. So, I think I think that's or because a lot of them are probably unvaccinated. They should get vaccinated <laughs> <laughs> on TV live. I'd be I'd be with that. I'd be yeah, with that. Good. I'm okay with that. Yeah, bro. Right, anything else you want to add? No, I'm good with man. I'm good. All right, man. Um, you want to do the outro? Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Oh, my bad. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, at the bottom, look at look for us on all streaming platforms. Um, that's it. Mind the gap. Mind the gap. Well, I'll let you later.